Hello guys and welcome back to the HJW channel and the continuation of my Pokemon Scarlet stream. In this episode you join us with the same team we had last time. And also just in West Province Area 1 we're going to look up to head to Cascarafa to deal with our next gym challenge which appears to be the water type gym. So we've flown here and we're going to then head straight on up there almost immediately. But first we have a little bit of little bit of a uh, uh, team changes to do as I noticed we haven't given nicknames to Flareon or Killer Watchful yet. It's pretty shameful. So Flareon, I was trying to think of a name for this, something kind of fire related. So I kind of went with, I've decided to call him Lucifer. Of course uh, related to the name of the devil. Not going to be in our team forever but I definitely wanted to make sure he had a nickname. And we also have to give a nickname to Killer Watchful who's going to be in our endgame team, so I can't believe I didn't give it a nickname straight away. And my designated nickname for him is... Thunderbird. Could even call it Thunderbird 1 if you guys wanted, but <laughs> for now I'm going to keep it as Thunderbird. So there we go, we've got a nice nickname team. Everyone's got to have a nickname if you're going to be in our team, come on. Right, so we've flown back over here, which is by... I think when we met another Titan Pokemon, where we flirt, ran into a, an annoyingly tiny Pokemon. Let's see if we can run away. Flareon does have pretty poor speed, but we should be high enough level here from everything, but it doesn't matter. Well, let's go. Let's head to our next gym challenge. I want to get this one out of the way. Hopefully this will add to the, some new stuff to the store as well, like Quick Balls, which I've been looking for for a little while now. He has respawned so close, I assume that over there is Karaskarfa, so it shouldn't take us too long. We might be able to get this done and then move straight on to the next bit, basically. We do have a trainer battle here. So we're challenging Alfredo the student. He sends out a Magikarp, which is interesting. <laughs> Magikarp also, of course, being legendary for their lack of strength until they evolve. Low level, so we should just one hit KO over here. It's an area we kind of bypassed a little while ago without heading to Karaskarpa. So we send out an Aracuda. Let's give Oliver a run out, being super effective against it. Aracuda. I do love the look of our believer with his arms in there, just like a big tree. So I want the Mega Drain because I feel like he's going to attack first and it's only three health, but Mega Drain will defeat it and put us back up to full health. Oh, we flinched! <laughs> but the Seed Sower put us back up to full health anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Peck did a massive 4 HP. So if we're this soon get into Karaskarfa. Or Kar Kaskarafa, sorry. <laughs> Try to really spell it. Kaskarafa, there we go. Uh, so we might move on to the next area as well after that, once we've defeated this gym as we're getting there so soon. So we might then do potentially another Team Star base after this, provided the gym challenge doesn't take too long. What have we got? That's another gym badge. There's another gym down here we've yet to do. Is this a Team Star base? Yeah. Oh, the Navi, the Navi squad, like Avatar. In which case, that'll definitely be our next one. <laughs> Might see if we can get both of these done 
in one playthrough. I note as well, it does say we can find Bombardier here as well, which I don't see any. That's of course a Pokemon that we disappointingly missed when we were heading through here to take on the Open Sky Titans, so I was hoping we could see one, but disappointingly not. Right, so we have a new city here to explore, the city of Karaskarfa, which it's like a lift. Ah, there we go. That's pretty cool, so it's like a multiple leveled city. Up here we have a few food joints, barber shop, bag shop. The map will tell us what shops and where if we zoom in, I suppose. So there's a number of food and clothes shops around the place. I don't think there's anything particularly unique around here. It's all just the same as any other city, basically. Ah, but that lift did take us up. Oh, gold deck. I haven't seen one of those yet, so I wonder if clicking on it would do anything, but unfortunately not. That, that lift is actually taking us up to where the gym was, which is pretty handy. So, of course, here we're going to end up running into Nimona, same as we always do. Vault in Valusa. I'm late, I'm late. That's <laughs> the gym leader, he's off. Ah, Kofu, wait! Oh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it, of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kaskarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Yeah, there we go. She's just giving his wallet to some random kid. <laughs> it's got a Venonat pattern on him. That's pretty cool. And that's basically our gym challenge. Okay, that's interesting. I did also see an item in the background, I think. Over here. Oh, I forgot about our, our boosted jumps. What's this one? Kind of Only an energy route. Okay, nothing interesting. So we can literally, like, jump on people's houses. And jump on this, and then... Clearly <laughs> people are particularly appreciative of us jumping on their house, but oh well. Uh, so where was he, sorry? In the market somewhere. Is this the market here? Where is the gym leader fellow? Ooh, a shiny new TM by this tree. Sleep talk. Interesting move. Requires you to be asleep, so it's quite good in combination with a move like rest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but there's another... Sorry for the background noise. Another way down here, another little lift, so I wonder if he's down at this lower level. Where is this fella? Oh, Stone Journal is available behind here. It doesn't say where he is, it just says he's at the market. Couple more energy roots over here. What's the Pokemon that's in the water? Can we actually battle them? No, we can't, they just swim around. So this appears to be the gym square where we do the fight. Say fight. Our battle when we eventually come to the gym leader. Still can't see him. I'm trying to keep an eye out. I, I think I'm probably looking in completely the wrong place. Maybe that was part of that conversation I misread. Check the map out. Oh, I see. He's all the way over here. Porto Marinada. So he's miles away. Okay, that's interesting. So we have to head across this desert, up into West Province Area 2, and across over there. Could take the Titan out along the way, but I don't think we would do that. We don't have to take this lift, we can just jump off. 
Let us head into that desert. It did say Stone Journal was, was available, so I wonder uh, if we can see and pick one of those up. That'd be interesting. There we go. We can just jump all of these lakes and rivers now. We find a water terror shard. I still haven't discovered what these terror shards do. But here we are, we're in the very empty Asado Desert. What have we got around here? We've got Rufflet. Similar Pokemon that we saw in our last place. We've got Rufflet. We've got Orthworm. We've got Capsicids. Banpi. Larvesta Fuzz. I wonder if we find Larvesta around here. Cacnea Needles. Well, there's a lot of items here in the sand. I don't think I'm going to bother picking all of these up. I imagine I could probably be here forever. Anything new? A couple of rufflets. There we have a cacnea. Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Hopefully, I remember to put Flareon back up from. I did indeed. Any one hit KOs. Obviously, a very defensively weak cacnea. Typical. Oh, I saw that at the back corner of my eye. We have a stone journer. Flareon not being the ideal thing for this, but. A uh, Stone Jenner, I believe, being yeah, unique to Pokemon Scarlet. So if you're playing Pokemon Violet, I don't think you'll find this in. Wow, that didn't do much. What did he, he did 44 damage. As long as it's a crit, we're fine. He uses gravity. We have another Fire Fang. Get him down to yellow or oh, amber health, and we can just go straight in with the Great Ball. Our move pool on Flareon, of course, is very limited at the moment as we only just evolved it from an Eevee, so it didn't have particularly good moves levelling up as an Eevee. Although I haven't tried to remember any moves yet, so potentially I could try that. Uh, Stonjourner. The elemental composition of the rocks that form its body were found to match the bedrock of a land far away from this Pokemon's habitat. Slide that on in, and our Pokedex is starting to get pretty full now. Which is quite good to see. Sorry about moves. What moves can we remember? We have Ember, Fire Spin, Smog, Baby Doll Eyes. Essentially, nothing useful. There's Swift, which could be better than Quick Attack. Although, Quick Attack makes up for our lack of speed. Let's put Swift in instead of Sand Attack, because we don't use that at all. Is that slightly stronger, I suppose? But again, not the greatest move pool so far. We find a Moonstone. Is this similar to the mines, where elemental stones can just spawn? A Miracle Seed grants power to Grass-type moves. That could be very useful for giving, of course, to Oliver when the time comes. The minute we're still training a special attack EV. So up here we find another of these ruin type areas which seem reasonably common. We've got far links, and we have Tinker Tink. And we have this here, which is a Tinker Tough. We have found one of these before. And there is also a Gimmagool hiding in the corner. Trying to dodge some of these Pokemon battles. I have no intention of battling any of these, as we've found and caught all of these before. Let me find an Ether. Oh, another Cacnea there. And we do find a Soft Sand as well, which is useful for buffing the damage of ground type moves. We have nothing ground type at the moment, but could come in handy. Uh, we're going to go straight with the Great Ball here, as the last Quick Attack we tried, despite it being such a weak move, we're so over leveled for this Pokemon that. We just one hit KO'd it, and potentially, therefore, uh, Lucifer might not be the Pokemon of choice, but we haven't got anything that's low enough level, unfortunately, to do the low damage. I need to have a look and find a Pokemon that can learn False Swipe just through its move pool, I think, and add that to the team temporarily. Whoop Whoop at the minute is becoming slowly more redundant, so we could think about taking him out. But anyway, Cacnea, the cactus Pokemon. It prefers harsh environments such as deserts. It can survive for 30 days on water stored in its body. In the box.
Oh, I'm going to file it directly behind us as soon as waiting to battle us as soon as we finish. Which we're not going to do. Oh, there's a Larvesta behind us. That's interesting. But you can catch wild Larvesta. I assumed I found it out of luck whilst I was um, exploring. Now this... I'm 36. Holy moly. Uh, let's put out Thunder, but then I might know a rock type move. Uh, let's put Thunderbird. Where did it go? Is that one down there? Is that the same thing? Or is that. 38! That's a lot higher level than I was expecting. So this is a Sandaconda, so the evolved form of. Sand snake, so that my, my my name knowledge of these is awful. But uh, I'm going to avoid the attack here. It must be fantastically fast to outspeed Thunderbird, as he has brilliant speed. Part of the reason why I chose it, and he avoids the attack. What's the bet that you know, he's big again? He goes for a headbutt this time. Oh, okay, that did not damage. Check it's not going to KO us here. I think there's a chance it does. So let's get a super potion on here. Hopefully, it uses something like Dig that doesn't do damage. Glare. Does that reduce our attack? Oh, it doesn't affect them. I was hoping it would reduce our, our attack or something so we're not going to one hit KO. Uh, let's go with an air cutter again. So I think we should. Should survive this. So, great ball here. We haven't got any way of putting it to sleep. It's on 38, so an ultra ball might be wiser. We'll try the great ball first. Try this a couple of times potentially. Headbutt we have to keep an eye out for is that does do a lot of damage and we don't want to get KO'd of course with the damage that we're taking from the sandstorm as well and if a critical hit hit us it might make it a little bit more tasty for us but for now we're okay and there we go got him in the bag with a great ball awesome yeah very high level which is unusual So, Elvis wants to learn the move Mega Kick. This will be the first fighting type. Oh, I suppose the first fighting type move we've tried to learn. Target is, is attacked by a kick launched with muscle packing power. Low accuracy, high damage, but I don't think there's any reason to add this. We've already got a three move pool of different types. I don't see what normal type offers us over the other moves, particularly with the low accuracy, so we'll skip that. Sandaconda, the sand snake Pokemon, it will expand its body as much as it can and then contract itself, blasting out sand with enough force to wash away a dump truck. That's Sandaconda in the bag. I want to remember what it's. A oh, Silicobra, that's what its pre evolved form was called. I just couldn't remember off the top of my head, but it's frustrating me. Uh, all warm there. for back up front. Anything else new? What is... Oh, I thought that was something new there. It's just uh, an Orthworm behind the Cacnea. It looked a bit like the evolved form of Capsicid. Capsicids are called running all around here, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the evolved form. There is a Terra Pokemon over here, but before that, we've got a Rotom Call coming through. I assume it's going to be Arven as we're approaching... It is indeed approaching another Titan. Apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and uh, it's making me feel a bit sick. So I'm just going to sit down and rest a little bit before I get back to Titan hunting. We are not going to hunt the Titan here at the moment, unfortunately. I don't think we need to. We can come back here at a later date. I think we might be a bit underleveled for it at the moment. I just can't resist picking up all these items. It's a problem. 
It's like an addiction every time I see one. Ooh, that's new as well. What level are you? 35. That is a Don fan, the evolved form of Fanpy. So Thunderbird's going to get another run out here. Let's get him up to full HP. Of course, flying type to resist those ground type moves, for those of you wondering. And he did pretty well in the last one. So why change? Although that's a frustrating amount of damage. Crit with knockoff. Go for a roost here, get our HP back. And then I think we're going to have to start slinging Ultra Balls at this because we don't actually have, you know, a lower damage move we can use. Let's throw an Ultra Ball and pray, essentially. Ah. Oh well. Holy moly. What have we got that might do lower damage? Let's go with Whoop Whoop. This is attacking stats are a little lower, and his defensive stats are high enough, he should be able to take these knockoffs. Slam next to him. Still did 30 HP damage. This is a strong Pokemon. We go with Mud Shot or Poison Jab. Let's go with Poison Jab. It's still a knock off. Poison Jab, of course, not very effective, so it doesn't do too much. Give him Assurance. Yeah. We... Thankfully, we're tanky enough here that we can sustain these. One more of this, you put them in red HP. You get the bonus of the Quick Claw to act first. Please don't Quick Claw hit. There we go. Now it should be. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, so poor! <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. All of that time wasted. Oh, frustrating. The odds of that poisoning it, therefore making it almost kill itself, is frustrating. But what have we got under here? We have a Terra Sandy Ghast, which is a ghost. And uh, I believe it's ghost and ground type. But yeah, no interest at the minute to face that. I'm hoping we're going to run into another Don fan, but the odds of that happening, what is. There are some exceptionally high level Pokemon around here. We're going to send Root 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 out from the beginning this time. So we have that lower damage option. Espathra. This Pokemon so it looks like an ostrich. Let's go with a poison jab. Yeah, obviously it's quicker than us as we're using the slowest Pokemon ever. That does a decent amount of damage. Could be in trouble here if we poison this again. Oh, we might still be in trouble. No! <laughs> oh god. Two Pokemon we wanted to catch, defeated back to back. Brilliant work for myself here with the ch choice of moves, etc. That's a capsule kid. Let's just have a little jog around, see if we can find find what we want. I, th I think we need to relegate from our team at some point. Whoop whoop and bring in something like Pornyard. I think he might even be able to learn False Swipe. But we just need something that can uh, not do too much damage so we can catch some of these Pokemon. Because this is frustration beyond belief at the moment. Sandile Claw. I'm surprised we haven't run into a Sandile, to be honest. Come on. Let's spawn one of those Espath... Espathras. Or potentially a, a Don fan. Let's respawn one of those. That'd be a nice game. 
Probably should face some of these trainers at some point as well. But yeah, I think with the the size of this area, we're definitely not going to be uh, doing anything after the gym, as we got to explore this and explore the next city. What is that? That must be the Titan that was mentioned, the one that we are not going to face. And we have a dung beetle, but away from the dung beetle, I have spotted. We have. Hey. Don fan. Chance to rectify our mistakes. And this one is level 26, so a lot lower level. Not mid 30s like this spamp thing. We have managed to poison it again, but this time it's not such a big deal. It'll actually help us get it down to a reasonable level of health. I think one more hit. Should be fine. It goes for a slam, which of course has poor accuracy, so we get away with that one. And we get it down to orange health, so we're just going to start slinging great balls now, because we don't want to knock it out. If we did one more, I think we would, with the combination of damage and the poison. Let's get great balling. Uh, I didn't expect it to get that time, to be fair. It will end up down at um, bed health soon due to the poison. Not this time, but next time. But we can't use any attacks for now, so let's just keep slinging great balls until we get lucky. Speaking of which, there we go. We rectified one of our mistakes. Now I've just got to look out for that spam first. But that's the evolved form of Fan P. That is Don Fan in the bag. Full ground type. It's the armor Pokemon. Donphan is covered in a tough hide, so even being hit by a car won't phase this Pokemon. However, it is extremely susceptible to rain. And Donphan in the Pokedex. Oh, and we're getting surrounded by fan piece. There's no avoiding any of these battles. Just going to look to run away, because we still have Whoop Whoop out front, which is an idea. This is exceptionally slow. Fell back out in front. Um, we have the little dung beetle Pokemon, but I also spotted, I think I saw. Is there a TM back here? I swear there was something. Oh, there it is. I saw something in the background of one of our battles. TM4 Acid Spray. Now, I don't want to go any further than that because we're going to end up coming up against that Titan, which looked like an enormous Dom fan, and I think we're poorly prepared for. So we find this, this Relor. A little dung beetle that even with a super effective attack does very little damage. Well, maybe it's not ground type, seeing as it still takes damage from the sandstorm. And there we go. Relor also added to the Pokedex. We're finding an exceptional number of Pokemon this stream. Or new Pokemon, I should say. That's just pure bug type, okay. The rolling Pokemon. This Pokemon creates a mud ball by mixing sand and dirt with psychic energy. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. So psychic energy, I assume it's going to evolve into a psychic type in which case. Why is it just dirt and mud? Why is it not poop? Like most. Is that a Don found there? What's this? Oh god, I want to move out of this area and we're finding so many new Pokemon. This time we find a Hippopotas sneaking along under the sand. Our capture spree continues. Well, hopefully it continues actually. Maybe we might uh, knock this out like we have everything else, but hopefully not. And easy as that, first great ball we get Hippopotas, also added to the Pokedex. Our Pokemon are levelling up so much just purely from facing off against all of these new Pokemon. Uh, sorry, I didn't read the Pokedex entry. Just skip straight over that. So I want to stay away from that Titan over there. There's a lot of trainers for us to fight. Seeing if there's any new Pokemon I can't resist. There's so many items, it's hard to resist. I 
rare bone, it's good for picking up money. Larvesta, we're finding a lot of sunstones as well, which I don't think we need. I'm not sure which Pokemon we have that evolved with the sunstone, but I'm hoping to run into one of those Espanthers, the big ostrich that we didn't catch. Doesn't seem to want to spawn for us though. It's also a grass type over here. There's the big titan there. We've accidentally run ourselves into a Murkrow. Oh, so here's the question. Do we just go for the titan here now? Do we just do it? Just full send? Uh, I think we do. You know what? I think we do. Let's go for it. Wasn't on the agenda, but that plus a gym. How can you complain at that? That's got to be a good episode. First up, we're going to see what this Pokemon over here is. It's a Cyclizer, which is interesting, with an alternative Terra type. Right, we're facing off. So that stupid Cyclizer is going straight into a wall. We're going to face this thing down. This is going to be tough, I think. Let's go for it. What are you? We have to ride straight into its, like, belly in order to do this. This could be a huge mistake and it could be far past our level. Our rotom phone's going off. Hello HJW, this is Professor Seda. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution of course. So it's not a Don fan, it's a Great Tusk, is that, have I got that correct? Let's see what we do with an Aqua Step, it should be super effective. Ah, oh, perfect, okay. Whew, I was worried that was going to do just, you know, just a little scratch. As I wasn't sure how underleveled we would be for this. Whoa, we did a lot of damage back. Okay, that's slightly worrying. When it powers itself up, how strong is it going to be? We might have a few feints here when we take this down. Hopefully not, but... Let's heal you back up. So find... Where the Titan's gone. Sure there's a sand dial around here somewhere. The Titan's gone over here. It's just up there. Nothing new to be seen here, I don't think. So. Ah, oh, I can't resist the items. Let's go straight back over there and let's get this Titan done. So we're going to get a Titan and a gym in this episode. Wasn't planned, but can't resist upon seeing it where it looked like a giant Don fan. So it's e eating its Herba Mystica, as per all the other ones. It's now going to get significantly stronger, which could be a real issue after the amount of damage it did. It almost one hit KO'd Elvis, being one of our strongest Pokemon, and you know type advantage. HW looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan, huh? Is that thing even a Pokemon? It might be trying to get pumped up with its little snack. Time to show that thing what me and you can do. That's what I was wondering. Is this thing a new evolution of Don Fan, or is it not a Pokemon at all? I can't say I've heard of Great Tusk, but either way, we're going to go with an Aqua Step. I just noticed that he's in Scoville, so the evolved form of Catskill. I just noticed that the. Um, my flying type move is listed as super effective. So I assume it's fighting type as well. It's just a stomping tantrum. Ooh. Yeah, please get its attack down. Oh, it's, oh, it's speed. Sorry, scary face. I thought it was going to get its attack down. That's frustrating. We are going to get taken down here, I think, with another stomping tantrum. Scoville and use Razor Leaf, which is good. So we've got it below half. Brick Break is going to take us down. That's unfortunate. Do we... I think... What if I, what if he's a fighting type move. I don't know what effect what type Stomping Tantrum is, but I suspect it might be fighting type. But we're actually going to go in with Oliver here. That's just point, because we lost friendship now on... Elvis, who 
I don't think he's fainted in the entire time we've been playing this so far. Which is disappointing. Uh, let's go with the Mega Drain. So if we're slower here, we can regain our H4. We are slower. Holy moly. Of course, I forgot that our Believer is a normal type as well as Grass type. So that Brick Break one hit KOs us there. Uh, I think we might have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew here. We will take it down, but we're taking some serious damage to our team here. I was a little worried that our, the game was getting a little bit too easy, of course, so... That's, uh, we've definitely found a challenge here, but thankfully Hylia and her enormous special attack can take it down with a dazzling gleam. Three of our team down, just for one Titan. But we have uh, defeated Titan Great Tusk. And a level up for everyone who managed not to faint. And there we go. Yes, nice going, little buddy. And what even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Maybe it is a Pokemon, then, if it's been seen before. Is that what he's hinting at? Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that herb of Mystica I was eating. Let's give the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's a Pokeball in here. Oh, we're just going to ignore that. There's a Pokeball set in the middle of the cave. I don't think any others have that. But there it is, the Herb of Mystica. I wonder what ability this is going to give our Karadon. Hopefully it's worth taking that damage to our team for. So we get to obtain the Sour Herb of Mystica. The shape, the sheen. It looks like it will taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Sour Herb and is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. Again, perfect, but here's my boss stiff. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that will perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. There it is. Quaking Earth Titan defeated. Yeah. There's Koryadon coming out. Obviously expected, as it does every time. Would you like to give him your sandwich? Well, I've said yes every other time, so... Why would I not? And the boss is coming out. What is that Pokeball just lurking there? It's kind of annoying me that I can't... see or do anything with it. The boss is eating the sandwich. Oh, would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. And Karadin, of course, always had a proper appetite. He's powering up again. We'll be able to glide now. Wow, I wonder how we did Gliding, that's pretty awesome. Seems like that fellow is also slowly gaining its original strength. Still doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Psychological trauma, he thinks, that this has got. Terrifying experience in battle. But don't worry, I'm sure that both that brute and Mabostip... Can you start calling him a brute, please? I'm sure that that brute and Mabostip will make a full recovery eventually. So how do you feel, Mabostip? How's that Herb of Mystica working? Uh, no pressure, no pressure. 
Not like it's fair if you expect every kind of herb mist to have some huge effect, right? It's not like the effect has to be immediate either. At least he's roofing now, so he's getting better. We've got one more herb to go. I bet it's the best of them all. It's just gotta be. Nice, let's go. And there we go. The lurking... Uh, not the lurking steel titan, sorry. There's great tusk taken down. Hello, Ishidori, this is Seda. I detect the Crider has regained more of its original power. After it's jumped into the air, you should now try pressing the B button again. It should now glide. Awesome. So last time we gained the huge jump, now we can glide as well. Before I try that, I want to see if we can go back in here. I was wondering if that Pokeball was an item or something we could pick up, but it doesn't appear to be the case. There's a big cluster of Pokemon around here. Oh wow, that's pretty handy. Excuse me, massive high-level Don fan. If you've respawned, does that mean... What is it called? Escarantha? Have we got a sand dial? We don't have a sand dial. I thought we'd seen one before, of course. I must be mistaken. We've unfortunately led with Elvis here, so I think he's just going to knock it out in one. Let's go with a slung great ball and hope that it's not gone. If not, we might have to run or switch into Flareon. Oh, fuck. Awesome. And Sandal's caught just, just like that. God, our team is massively overleveled here, I think. Sandar, the desert crop Pokemon. Ground and dark type. It submerges itself in sand and moves as if it's swimming. This wise behaviour keeps its enemies from finding it and maintains its temperature. And there we go. Immediately chucked into a battle with a rough look. We seem to be getting overcrowded at the minute with battles. Go away. I wonder how much space we have left in our boxes currently. Uh, three more, so let's switch across. Now, I can't remember if we went and saw what this Pokemon here was. Oh, this man's a hippopotamus. Oh, it's not. It's a. I swear that wasn't there before. It's still interesting. So many items. More Sandile. It doesn't look like we're going to run to that Escartha, Escartha thing again. We do run, however, into a Cacturne. No, I'm not going to say. Let's just do this properly. So Cacturne is the evolved form of Cacnea. We had problems earlier with Cacnea being one shot by Flareon's quick attack. Holy moly, that was a big damage attack. And ours wasn't big damage at all. You might have to switch here, I think. Yeah, let's go poison. He's a little bit better at taking hits here from Cacciani with the better defensive stats. It's Flareon is completely incapable of taking a hit. Sucker Punch fails, we're going to go with a Mudshot. Although he does hit us with another Sucker Punch, that's massive damage, 35 HP taken there. Mudshot doing next to nothing, and that was a crit. Oh, do we do it? Let's just go for it, Poison Jab time. Please don't take it out in one hit. Ah, We need False Swipe as soon as possible. We are having a, a horrific time at the minute with capturing Pokemon. Seems everything is either super effective and knocks it out, or not very effective and does nothing. Flareon's been useful, but seems too weak. Level 56! I think we're going to leave that for now. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but seeing how that Titan just took down half our team, I think we will pass up the opportunity to face that Pokemon for now. So for those who don't know, that Pokemon is a Braviary, which is the evolved form of Rufflet. 
but it's such a high level I don't think we could even consider taking that down now. What level is this one here? 55! We have a 40 on a Hippopotas as well. No, 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 no! He did not want to face off against this Braviary. Especially with a fighting type Pokemon. Holy moly, no thank you. Hippopotas, on the other hand, really just got away from the bravery coming at us again then. We're going to go in with an air slash here. Hoden is a similar level to us. Hopefully he doesn't know a rock type move. Yeah, almost no damage at all. Takedown did quite a lot. Let's go with a low sweep here. A little bit more. And he whips up a sandstorm. I don't think he's going to be able to one hit us here. If we go for one more air slash, we should get him down to a round red HP, I think. Oh, not quite. It's disappointing. We do get a useful flinch as well. Now, an Ultra Ball should be able to capture this. <laughs> this is a pretty exceptionally high level Pokemon. This is higher than our entire team. So, whilst I was worried we were over leveled, this is stronger than our entire team. And we've caught it in one Ultra Ball. Brilliant. So we've got Hippodon, which is the evolved form of Hippopotas. This is the heavyweight Pokemon. It's surprisingly quick to anger. It holds its mouth agape as if to display as a display of its strength. Of course, based on a Hippopotamus, which are... Yeah, very... Get threatened very easy. Right, let's get away from that Braviary as quickly as possible. Thankfully, it's not following us. So we found so many rare spawns here with that Cacturne, the Braviaries, the Popotas. We still can't find that another one of those es Escarthas, Escamphas. We'll come back here in future and have a look. Let's check what this out. Is it another Sandy Ghast? It is indeed. So where are we looking to head to? That's the real question. So we need to head out of this north-west area to continue what we were originally doing, of course, which was our gym challenge. So we're going to head that way. And hope that we don't run into too much distracting, like all of these items I can't resist picking up. More stone journals wandering around. We have a grim... Gimme Gold coin up here that I can't see, but Tinker Tinks, more Stone Journeys, Kinker Tufts, uh, Far Links, and Gimme Ghoul. Again, nothing new there. Three Max Ethers, three Super Potions, there's a lot of items here. Where is the exit for here that I'm meant to be taking? Is it? It's round to the right, okay. Dodge the Orthworm. found a repeat ball and I've accidentally ran into a capsule kid as they're so tiny I couldn't spot it. There's got to be an easier way down than just leaping off the cliff surely. I mean I imagine I could just use my new glide function to run straight there which I might actually do here. So we keep you well we're spending a huge amount of time exploring this route. Oh and I've just fallen off the cliff. Oh there we go I guess it's glide time. So that's where we're meant to be going. Hello, Tauros. Let's just double check I'm going the right way. And indeed, it says there's Ditto around here. And that is a Flaffy as well. Oh god, gotta capture everything. Gotta not use Elvis. <laughs> Against an electric type, and he'll one hit killer. Flaffy use charge. Just like its defences more. We're gonna go with a quick attack. Nice, and a great ball should have been now captured for us. Reasonable damage from the Electro Ball. Quite surprised with Flareon being a little bit um squishy as it should have really strong, particularly special defence. 
but I haven't seen that so far. Cotton Spore reduces our speed, we're already slow as heck. And we're not looking to use moves anyway, so... Yeah, there we go. Flaffy. So Flaffy is the evolved form of Marie, and the kind of mid form of Ampharos, which is one of my favourite electric type Pokemon. Flaffy, the wool Pokemon, as a result of storing too much electricity, it develops patches where even downy wool will not grow. Yeah, send it straight to the box. Oh, that's good. Back up front. Tauros around here, a few items. A nice rest station, Cyclizer, another form of Deerling, and there is a Giraffe Rig as well. My whole plan of beeline it straight for the, uh, the, the gym challenge is going well, of course. <laughs> Yet another Pokemon that I'm trying to catch. Eventually we're going to be forced to stop just through the lack of Pokeballs, I think. I will come back off again, come back here off stream and re-update you of everything I found around here because there must be an enormous amount that I've missed. Let's go with an Ultra Ball, that didn't even shake once. And we haven't weakened this appropriately, so. Oh, wow, I can't catch with an Ultra Ball. I'm not sure we have any other choice, unfortunately. So we do not have. I don't think we have anything weaker than Flareon's Quick Attack, to be honest. Thankfully the Ultra Ball does it on the second attempt. It's a bit disappointing wasting one of them, but... We move on. And Oliver the Arbeliever gets himself up to level 38. So Giraffe Rig, the long neck Pokemon. Though very small, the brain in its tail is still considered an important organ because it emits powerful psychic energy. Normal and psychic type, of course, it reduces the only weakness that normal type has, which is fighting. So it's quite an interesting type, that. And what is this Pokemon here? Oh, it looks like the evolved form of Nackley. And it looks like it has some kind of alternate Terra type. I have no idea what its alternate type is. Let's see. Ghost type. Okay, that's very interesting. Thankfully, we know Bite, which will be super effective here. It's called a Knuckle Stack. <laughs> I like that it looks almost like a, almost like something from Minecraft here. And we hear a pretty strong Bite. Get it down to Amber Health and Break. Uh, break is the terastalize, so we can go straight in with a Pokeball now. Of course, you can't throw one while it's terastalized. So you have to break it first, which the bite thankfully got it down without uh, without making it faint. And we get it in one Pokeball again. And Lucifer hit level 39 as well, which is brilliant to see. So Knacklestack, the rock salt Pokemon. This Pokemon dry cures its prey by spraying salt over them. The curing process steals away the water in the prey's body. Something like steak. Turns everyone into a steak. And there it is, Macklestack. Lucifer is just getting so over leveled compared to the rest of our team. Let's put Hillia out in front for a bit. Why am I even running this way? I should not be running this way anymore. To the gym. Or the gym leader, rather. Yes. Oh, I see Chansey and Ditto, two Pokemon we haven't yet seen. Let's speak to this chap here and hopefully he can heal us up. There's a ton of ingredients I'm not too interested in. I still haven't seen any need for the sandwich part of this game, so... I've just been ignoring that completely so far. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some need for it at some point. So we've got a Stunky, a Giraffe Rig, some Fan Pete. Now I wonder if Ditto spawns as a Ditto. Or if he in fact spawns as another Pokemon that we then have to use, um, we then have to fight in order to see that it's a Ditto. So many items, Stunkies around here as well, which we've seen before. Turos, Giraffe Rig, 
So Clyze, there's a huge number of Pokemon around here. Dealing. 70 so items as well. I'm just addicted to picking up all the items. Uh, don't need the Pokemon Center as we have already healed up at that rest station. In fact, do we have this Pokemon? Yeah, we do. We shift. Oh, this is cool. Just down here. You can find the evolved form of Rolts. Why does it say question mark? We have Curlia in our Pokedex. We have a Gardevoir. So why does it say question mark? It's so weird. We literally have a go Oh! Oh, wow. So that answers that question of... Does it appear? It, do it, it appears as... And it looks like another Pokemon, but it is in fact a Ditto, which explains why it was a question mark. That is... Okay, that is awesome. Um, I don't know if we're going to one-hit KO this, so... And I don't want to risk having to find another Ditto. So we're just going to put the sleep to increase our capture chance and just go straight with the Ultra Ball. Uh, luckily we haven't caught it. If it comes, if it manages to come out, it will transform into a Gardevoir, at which point I can then use a Psychic-type move. And they'll be not very effective and less likely to one-hit KO. Or, of course, we can just capture it straight away with the Ultra Ball. And that's Ditto in the Pokedex. I imagine that could have been really, really hard to find. So, the Transform Pokémon. Its transformation ability is perfect. However, if made to laugh, it can't maintain its disguise. And that's Ditto. I wonder if you aim at something. So, Grimer. So this is Curlier. Oh, it's a ditto. It does tell you it's a Ditto. That's clever. So are all the Curliers over here Dittos? We dodged the road. No, oh, some of them are actually Curlier. Okay. Yeah, Curlio is the pre-evolved form of Gardevoir. Or Gallade, potentially, as well. Now, the place we're looking to go, Porto Marina, is just down here. It said he's in the market, so he must be just down here. Let's enter Porto Marina. So what does the market sell? Is it all food? Oh, it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell anything at all. Anyway, here's the gym leader just here. Let's get this gym challenge done. Veluza, Veluza. Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. Sniff. This fellow is about to go get it for him. Uh, it's his apprentice. Oh, we're going to have to battle his apprentice first. As he's uh, refusing to let us see... I think it was Kofa. He opens with a Flosal, and we open with Helia. He's going to trace Swift Swim. Could be worse, we could have still had... Um, still had Lucifer out front. We'll take an Aqua Jet with no problem and give a Dazzling Gleam right back. An enormous special attack with the one hit KO. She's such a brilliant special base sweeper. He's going to use a Clauncher. So we're going to go in to Oliver, the Arbeliever. I just love that now. Oliver, the Arbeliever. It just flows so well. A bit of game stuttering there. Here comes Clauncher. We haven't seen one of these yet. I believe it is water type. As per the water gin. So we're going to go for an energy ball. Of course we have two options for this. We have both Oliver and we also have Thunderbird. As Thunderbird of course the electric type. And that's gym trainer Hugo taken down with very little trouble. And he let Kofu down. Yes, you did. Now let me give him his wallet. And now my wallet's empty too. Hey, uh, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus over here? 
Oh man Kofu, this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for little old walletless moneyness me? What can I do for you? I've got your wallet. Vault in Valusa, my wallet. So what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? <laughs> That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologise for my little apprentice too. I hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at Porto Marinada Auction that I really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we're both a bit worked out to worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. What's he looking to buy? Legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn region. Vault and Valusa, I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed, chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look how <laughs> look how it catches the light and shines so brightly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of summit plucked straight out the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at, at the Cascarafa gym, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning beard on the seaweed for this old man. So i got to go buy some seaweed. Whoa, he gave me $50,000. He's a rich gym leader, Kofu. Make the winning bid. Is this as easy as it looks? As you assume? There we go. <laughs> there we go, got him 40k. So we keep the 10,000? What do we give it back? Forty thousand for some seaweed. Holy moly, that that better be some premier seaweed. That is some expensive seaweed. <laughs> oh god. Gym test, you passed. Brilliant. At what cost? <laughs> Of course, we haven't checked all of this city out yet. It doesn't look like there's anything. What was that? No? Okay, we like bounced over that then when we run over it. I thought it might be something springy or something like that, but apparently not. I can see a TM lurking in the back of this boat. Uh, surf, one which we found previously. Of course, strong special based water type move. Uh, water rolls. Oh, and I can't jump over them. Why not? I don't want to battle them. Yeah, leave me alone. Oh, and we've now fallen into the ocean as well. Thank you, Watchful. Is that shoulder? Yeah, that's that shoulder. Whee! Can we jump straight out? Apparently not. Even with our extra booster jump, we can't get out of the sea. Alright, let's stop faffing around here and let's go do what we meant to do right from the beginning. Let's go do the gym challenge at the Karaska Kaskarafa Gym. Snuck in an extra titan for good measure. And there we go, we're back in the Kaskaraf and let's go find this gym. If I remember rightly, it was on the top level. So I'm going to take this lift up again. Right, to the gym. Uh, I need to think about our team as well. What have we got? We got both Thunderbird and our and Oliver as well. I think we're gonna open with Thunderbird, as I like the fact that it's got such high speed. But we'll likely use both of them over the time as well. Who are these fellas? Hassle. Well now, HJW, are you actually going to be a hassle? Oh. 
You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. And this fellow as well. What's this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? That fabulous hair. Hey, kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Yeah, go on then. You got some spirit, big shot. Oh, it's a young lady called Rika. Rika at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but I need to get, no need to get intimidated or anything. And she's farcical. Oh, it's a member of the Elite Four. That's pretty interesting. So the gyms ratchet up the farther we go through. So we should see... Uh, it says a lot of people abandon it at this point. So hopefully this gym's a lot stronger than the last few we faced, though I suspect potentially not, as we just took on a Titan I think we were far out-leveled for. Right, let's go. Again, we need to change our outfit somewhere. So, gym test passed. Let's get into the gym. Let's go. So where's our battle arena? Oh, on the bottom floor of the city. Makes us go that far away just just for a battle. Where is he? There he is. Come on, let's go, Kofu. Stop chatting. <laughs> Everyone wants to try some of his food. I'm not surprised if he spent 40 grand on the ingredients. Hey, a step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marinada. You did a mighty fine job. And now I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the raging sea. I'm going to serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try and eat them though. No risk of that. Gym leader Kofu. So, this is the Veluza he keeps ref referring to. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Loser opens with Mold Break ability. Level 29, so he's a lot stronger than the other things we've had. We're going to open with a, uh, an Electro Ball, because we do have such fantastic speed on Thunderbird that it should deal enormous damage. And if we do get the one hit KO straight out the bat. And we get level 39 as well. We're going to send out a Wug Trio. For that, I think it's Ground type as well, so we're going to switch into Oliver and use the Grass type moves. Can't remember if it's Ground type, just to be safe. In comes Wug Trio, so let's go with a Mega Drain. As we are so slow, we're going to move second, so he'll deal some of the damage, and then our Mega Drain should bring it back. I think that's a wise decision. And another one in KO. Of course, to be expected when we're, you know, nine levels higher. These gym challenges so far, it's just, it is disappointing they don't scale with level, that's what you'd hope. Especially when it's like 6v4 or whatever it is. I didn't see what that Pokemon was, so I'm going to go back to Thunderbird again. Just to be safe. Let's hope it's not a Pokemon that's got a load of rock type moves. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. A Crabominable. I assume he's then gonna terrestrialize that and make it even stronger. Unfortunately, we terrestrialize actually into a flying type, and our believer terrestrializes into a normal type. Actually, uh, I plan to get, if it's possible, to get it. Killer Watchers 
uh, terrestrialized type change to electric because I don't see the need of it being flying. Uh, it just occurred to me that Abominable probably knows ice moves like ice punch, so this could be more of a trouble if, unless we one hit KO it, which we do. There we go. <laughs> Bit of an anti climax, I suppose. The, all the gym's Pokemon be a one hit KO, but. No worries, gym leader Kofu taken down, and there's another gym badge for us. Voltin the loser, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. Yeah, <laughs> loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping round all willy nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight to the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over the gym badge. Let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. <laughs> uh, what a stupid pose. Anyway. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 40. It'll be easier to catch and I'll listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me throw this two in too as an extra special bonus. So TM for Chilling Water. It's not a move I've heard of before. The user attacks the target by showering it with water that's so cold it saps the target's power. Lowers the target's attack stat. That's an interesting move, but not one I think we're going to be needing. As of course, it sounds like it's special based and we have a physical based water attacker. Anyway. Alrighty, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got prepping for the next wave. You can come back and see me again, you hear? Oh, there we go. First, I assume we have to have a conversation with Nimona, as we usually do. There she is. HAW, hola. Caught you just you finished up in here. Nice work. That puts you on four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me just want to challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader, dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it in the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Gosh, it's the worst timing ever. Sorry, HJW. Forgive me, forgive me. I thought you were going to do the gym challenge and you ran the other way. Anyway, I think with that, that's going to be the end of the stream as we've achieved everything we were looking to achieve. In fact, even more with adding a Titan into the mix as well, not just the gym challenge for Karas. Uh, God, I can never get the name right. Karaskarfa. So if you're watching this on the stream, please consider hitting the follow button. It'd be really much appreciated as you know, any and all support is always appreciated. If you're watching this on YouTube, please smash the like button and please consider hitting sub as I will be playing this game all the way through to conclusion. And anyway, I really hope to see you on the next one.